All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where today we are going to be reattempting the East Wind. I started this in the last episode and unfortunately uh, royally screwed up. Uh, I was putting the logs that I was supposed to be putting in the truck on the loading platform and the place I went to was limited. So uh, unfortunately I ran out of logs and it turns out I was I was kind of being a moron and I believe I had to go all the way down here <laughs> to pick them up and turns out yeah it's limited here and the whole time there were logs here that we could have picked up so uh, with that in mind it has been over a week and a half I think since I played the game I was uh, unfortunately sick with the flu uh, all last week and I missed Monday's episode because I was too busy uh, trying to catch up with uh, everyday life so uh, we're here we're gonna start and we're hopefully gonna be able to continue so I, I, I don't remember why I have these three trucks out I I honestly don't remember I know I was going to use, I think I was going to use the Azoths and then realize I could also use the, uh, uh, whatever this truck is, the case, the bandit back there. <laughs> and yeah, so we're going to, we're going to use this truck and the bandit because the, uh, this Azoff here, the, uh, 73210, uh, it's, very very low it's got a huge overhang and it's low to the ground so I, I think it's gonna be trouble when it comes to uh, when it comes to actually using it uh, although it does carry almost twice as much fuel as the the other truck does and the other problem is is if you go to the bandit it also only has a 40 gallon tank on it so uh, let's go ahead and refuel out of the Azov change trucks here real quick to that one we'll refuel we're only down three gallons so not not too bad there let's go ahead and attach our winch and let's get the show on the road we got uh, we got some major uh, driving to do so it is it is morning so we should be coming out of this uh, darker kind of fog that we have going on here I think what I'm going to do yeah let's go this way and then we'll swing around the issue with this path here is it's pure mud so it's gonna be a lot harder to yank all these uh, this train through this road train once we get all the logs on it so we're going to uh, go this way first get the logs and then We'll be off to the uh, to the farm. Now, unfortunately, we don't have. We'll we'll need six loads of logs. Uh, let's actually do that. That's going to be easier. We need medium logs on the truck, and then medium logs on the trailer. That's what I screwed up last time. I was loading it there, and yeah, yeah, it kind of. Let's screw things over, so uh, we need to make this turn. They did not give us very much uh, turning room here. And you want to be very careful when making your turns because these trailers are very, uh, very tipsy. So let's go ahead and stop the engine on that one. Jump to the bandit. You know what we could do? We could bring the other truck along with us as well. Uh, so let's do that. And truck. <sighs> no, Bandit. I don't like you anymore. It only takes short logs. Oh, that's not cool. All right. Well, let's uh, let's fix this real quick. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Detach the trailer. Uh, let's just recover this. Why not? We will go to the map. We will grab the Azov. I guess that's the uh, 
the only alternative we have. So we're gonna get to we're gonna get to see how this truck handles terrain <laughs> after I stole all the fuel out of it. But okay, this truck has a long, large fuel capacity, so that should help us in the long run. This probably will make it the lead truck. Um, as the at least I find that the the trucks that you're uh, pulling or you're winched to, they tend to not they they tend not to use as much gas. So, Whoa, let's go ahead and hook up real quick, and then we're going to load medium logs, and we will be off. So we will have to take one of these trucks back. At least, I, at least I made that turn this time. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to take one of these trucks back and uh, do two more loads. I'm I'm hoping we don't need to uh, bring a fuel truck with us. If we do, I guess it is what it is. But let's uh, let's finally get underway here with uh, four loads of of medium logs. I'm getting I'm getting so close. We're we're almost done with this map. Whoa, what the Okay, let's set that up. I think we still have we still have three logs, so I should be able to pack this. There we go. Let's undo the uh undo the winch cable. I didn't realize the winch cable was that long. <laughs> All right, let's uh, change trucks. Of course, it's not going to. Man, this thing like turned really quick. I wasn't even close to getting through that gate. Come on. How do even moves the water? I never noticed that it moves the water. All right. Anyways, I was hoping to get that out of the way. But we'll just we'll we'll blast through it like it's nothing. All right, nice and close. Uh, probably a little too close. All right. Can we can we finally get underway here? It it has been. Like I said, it, it's been over a week and a half, so I'm a little on the rusty side. <laughs> And that fence didn't like them. Didn't like the location it was in. I feel like I'm too close still. There we go. I can always bring it in a little bit. I do want some distance. Especially if when it comes to turning. Uh, let's not go that way. Thank you. All right, and you know what? We should probably look and see what the best path is to out to the farm. Ew, what is the best path? That's kind of a crappy path. This through here is a crappy path. I think we're going to stick to the road. We'll be able to pass a fuel station. So hopefully, fingers crossed. We'll, uh, we'll have enough fuel to make it to at least that station. And yeah, maybe after that point we, uh, we split the loads and take each truck individually. Ideally, if we had a trailer store around the farm, we could, uh, sell the trailer and then recover back so that we don't have to actually make that drive. Because, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I was thinking the bandit was going to be able to help us, but it apparently only does short logs, so that's uh, very valuable information to know. All right, let's see. Our truck is on behind us, so we are we are struggling a little bit, but I mean, I'm not going to lie. We are a fairly, fairly sizable load here. 
I think what we'll do is we'll just we'll stick to as much asphalt as possible and we'll take it nice and easy. All right, so we're uh, we're cruising along at a balmy 22 and a half miles an hour, and that's downhill. So it is going to uh, it's going to take us a while to get there. So um, oh, good news is I, I like how I just thought of this. Uh, the Mastodon, which I have been debating about buying, is now 25 percent off. So I save a dollar ten. <laughs> so I think I will be purchasing purchasing that soon. I I actually went to purchase it uh, last week when it first went on sale, and my uh, yeah my credit card uh, needed to be updated because it had uh, expired. So oh 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 crap, that's not good. All right, well we tipped over again. That's that's wonderful. Uh, let's unload and pack our cargo. Let's break our chain? Oh. What are we stuck on? Oh, there we go. Thought we were stuck on something. I could have sworn I detached the winch cable. And, uh, yeah, so let's, uh, jump into there. Apparently we took this corner just a little too tight. I have a feeling that, uh, this truck has a tighter turning radius. And that's why we are, uh, having issues when it comes to snagging things. Alright, let's reattach the winch. And let's take off. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, the, my credit card uh, had expired and I got a new one. And so the one on file, it's already still. Oh, this thing does not like to be in a train. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, I gotta update that. So my, uh, me being lazy, I haven't brought my credit card downstairs to, uh, to update that, so one of these days. I'm I'm hopefully hopefully soon. Maybe after this episode actually. I'll go ahead and put some effort in. <laughs> and we will uh get that taken care of. Yeah like see it looks like it's falling behind pretty well. I don't know why it just tends to just wanna veer off really soon for some reason. I mean, it is offset there. Ah, uh, you know what? It is what it is. We're just going to have to be careful. We're probably going to have to drive like this. Just so we can keep an eye on... our truck.
Alright, I'm gonna go around. I know there's usually a shortcut through there, but... It's... It's not that much of a shortcut, so... I think we have the capabilities of just going for it. We've got... What, ten wheels there? We've got another eight wheels there. Yeah, I, I think we'll have the power to do this. Although, again, look at how... Look at how inside this turn is. I almost want to reattach the winch. Come on. That be better. Do I really want? Do I? Should I get this truck really super close? I'm gonna go there. That should give us enough. It just seems really strange the way it just cuts sometimes out of nowhere. A little sloppy through here. Come on, don't you tip over. And there we go. Now we'll get the little nudge. It's nice to get those little nudges to get through. Surprisingly, it, it helps out uh, uh, tremendously. So far, so good. We haven't uh, haven't real had any real slowdowns from the mud. So these trucks are definitely capable. Had some close call calls with uh, what I'm gonna call clipping <laughs> with this with this back trailer just wanting to uh, turn and end up hitting trees or buildings or whatever else we fit. So. Alright, I want to pay more attention up here. We are getting a little wobbly. It's very, very uneven terrain through here, so... And this is, this is one thing I wanted to, to, to test. Is how well the logs stay in the bunks. When they're not packed. Because technically there's only three. So you would assume, and I would assume, that the load is actually lighter. And when you pack them, it be takes the weight of all those logs that are there. You gotta do this very strategically. Oh, we gotta not hit the tree that's there. Oh, let's try again. Don't want to be that far over as possible. We are probably going to hit. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's detach. Let's get everything sorted on this road because this part here is a little sketchy for a road train. Jump to the Azov. Let's get this unstuck now. I really should call this the other as off. <laughs> Come on, let's yep, there you go. Alright. Perfect. Alright, and we're back underway. All right, good news is we do have a fuel tanker here, so maybe, maybe I should have just driven each truck individually up here. Because uh, I'm going to have to switch anyways, and then I got to reattach the... 
the one line, the winch line. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You gotta detach anyways, right? Oh. Go ahead and fill that up. I think the other truck has plenty of fuel in it. Although we were we were halfway with our fuel on this, so I'm I'm kind of curious to see exactly how much fuels left in here. 20. Okay. So it wasn't too bad. And now we're stuck. Try to back up and get some momentum. There we go. Come on. Now we're nice and full. Well, this truck does seem to struggle just a little bit under the weight. Alright, let's... Oh! That was weird. Alright, let's go ahead and winch this back up. Yeah, that's a that's a that's good to take into account. Is that the uh, the six series Azov is not quite as powerful, and it struggles. And and it could be it could be tire grip because I I think I read that somewhere on Reddit <laughs> that if your tire grips too if you have too much grip, then it will actually stop you from going up the hill which doesn't make any sense at all in real life, but in this game I could see... I could kind of see how that would affect it. But yeah, so anyways, it, it's, it's one of those strange things. I'm not really sure if it's true or not, but, you know, because you can't, you can't uh, rely on everything you hear on the internet. Alright, so this is where we have to go through this crap. <laughs> And this is where I was trying to figure out if it was worth going this way. I guess we'll see how well we do. We do have a lot of horsepower here, so... I'm hoping... One of these trucks will still have power when we get through it. Because right now it looks like a solid, solid mess that we're heading towards. I don't know, does it go? I mean, the road looks like it curves off that way. I love how I stopped right before I got into the mud. Yep, that, that was smart. Kill all my momentum. Ooh. I'm not a fan of that little dip there. See if we can get the Azov behind us to not follow suit through there. Well, she's not pushing on me, so he's also struggling through there. The, the wall of mud back there is insane. Don't tip over. Don't tip over. I will be so angry if you tip over. Better yet, don't get stuck. But definitely don't tip over. It is so close to tipping over. Hold on. 
I gotta go do something about that. I don't, I don't, I think I'm gonna end up. Yeah, I'm gonna lose it. Uh, attach winch. Yeah, that's the best point there. Oh, we just reach. Come on. Right now. Funny because even back here I can control the front truck. I don't know how well I can control it, but I can control it. Should go right through that tree though. So this is uh this is also a little trick you can do. And I believe uh, I'm not 100% sure if you can control the front wheels on the truck ahead. So I'm going to switch. It doesn't look like you can, but you can use it to kind of pull yourself out. Let's see how close are we? We are nowhere near. Okay, so we're going to have to get ourselves out. And it looks like it's going to be slow. It is going to take. A while. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what word to use. Oh, that's going to pull us back. What if we do this? Let's attach the winch here. Yeah, we can winch right off of there. Definitely got to be careful though. Can we reach something solid? Yes, we can. We've got the telephone pole. Although that is very dangerous as well. But better yet, we have solid dirt up here, so. Wow. Much mud, mud slash dirt. Alright, let's see if we can get this truck out. I'm gonna go extra wide. Doesn't look like the truck's gonna move up, so let's uh. Oh, now you just. It's just going on its own. That's uh. That's fun. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. Um. But yeah, look, I'm not even driving it. I don't. I swear, I do. I'm not even holding the controller right now. There. I touched it to steer it, and it just. That is, that is weird. Um, so yeah, I think I found a glitch. Let me know if anyone else has, has had that uh, glitch happen to them. Because, uh, yeah, that's kind of an annoying. You know what, let's go ahead and, oh, uh, you know what? No, I need to make sure we can get the other truck out first. I was, I was thinking we should be okay. But I don't have any winch points, so if we get stuck, we're kind of... Well, we're kind of SOL. Right, I think we'll be okay. Am I already losing daylight again? 
I swear we just got into daylight. Man, I can't wait till we're out of Russia. And we have some solid... Solid daylight. Oops. Yep, we're just gonna... We're just gonna crash into this truck, I think. Okay, you know what? Maybe that wasn't a smart idea. Yeah, that didn't, didn't look too smart, so let's change the trucks. Let's get this one out of here. Now that we're uh, entangled. There we go. Oh, that was close there. All right, let's get this. Let's get this load in here. We'll we'll at least get two of the six. Let me guess. Time trial, some type of pickup, and a crane. Uh, what's the best way? I guess. Guess we can go left and then go right. Oh. Little bit of an accident there, but that's okay. No damage taken, that's that's kind of nice. Alright, that uh that whole tractor wheel thing system there is freaking me out. It's always fun. Alright. Perfect. Alright, let's drop off one load. Can I drop off the other load too? Yes, I can. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking it had to be in the trigger, but it's fine. Alright. We are nowhere near a tr a trailer store. Warehouse is there, but I don't think the trailer store is there. There's a trailer store here. Wish I could pick up. Wonder, does it tell me how many logs are there? Four medium logs. I could make that trip there. I don't... It's a little bit closer. But is it better? There is a fuel station there. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what we do. Maybe. We'll see. I can tell you the first thing we're going to do is skip the morning. Though. Actually, technically, that's the second thing we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is get this load. We're going to get this truck into where it needs to go. And this truck here is definitely... Oh my god, I almost, I almost rolled it. Uh, it's definitely faster. But maybe we take this one. I, I was going to take the other one. Just because of its fuel capacity. Now, now, I'm, now I'm tempted. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Uh, do I go with low and slow and big, a big fuel tank, or do I go quick and fast and small fuel tank? Because we're burning four, four gallons a minute. That gives us about ten minutes to make our trip there and back. There is a fuel stop, so that would uh, definitely help. But it's 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 kind of hard to say which truck would be better. I think I'm gonna have to go with the fuel, even though it's gonna be longer. It just makes more sense to go with fuel because if we don't, if we end up having to stop to get a vehicle out there to refuel, that's gonna take so much more time 
than it would just to go slow with the other truck and make sure that we have enough fuel so I think that's what we'll do all right boom we got those four in let's go park this uh, beast up over here somewhere and we will advance to morning That's that's pretty decent parking spot, actually. <laughs> At least the truck's sitting on concrete. Stop the engine. Let's change the truck. Let's skip to morning. And let's let's think about this. Do we want to go this way, or do I want to try to sneak up this hill? If I sneak up this hill, it's going to be a little bit faster. I think we can do it, no problem. I think the toughest thing is going to be turning around. <laughs> Let's turn now and hope. Yeah, we're not even. Look at the turning radius on this thing. It's a freaking boat. I'm pretty sure my house has a better turning radius than that. There is a fuel tanker there. Could steal that fuel, but at the same time, we don't need it. Knock on wood, we don't need it. Uh, so these these fences are just getting destroyed. Just knock everything down with our horn. That's that's the way you do it in Russia. All right. I think we can get through here pretty easily. A little bit. A little bit of trouble, but we did it. I think we can cycle right through here. Is that the right way? Yep, yeah, that's pretty much bang on. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, that's probably easier than going around the mud that we did. So depending on how this hits the road. Uh, it's not bad. We could do it. We definitely could do it. Let's grab some fuel. And yeah, let's see, it took us about, I would say, 35 minutes just to go to the logging center and back, so I think let's figure out how fast it is just to do this run on our own. And if it takes the same amount of time, we will be slightly over, but that's fine. I think I, I, think I owe you guys an extra long episode just because of... Uh, all the time that was missed. So yeah, I think I will uh, I will sit back and we will enjoy the sounds of the game and yeah, you guys don't have to hear me talk about random weird stuff. But I have a feeling some of you guys enjoy that, so
All right, I had a little bit of an accident. Uh, a couple times I drove into a ditch, almost rolled it there, and then I, right at the end there, I almost, oh, oh. Technically, I almost drove past our uh, insertion point, or our, yeah, I almost missed our turn. And uh, yeah, so. Oddly enough, we didn't have really any big accidents, no issues, so works out pretty good. <laughs> and that did not take us very long at all. I think it took us about five or six minutes to get all the way back here, uh, which makes me think maybe the train wasn't a great idea. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I should probably go trailer. Uh, possibly it could have been just because the truck's empty so of course it's faster uh, we also did take that shortcut so that helped but uh, yeah let's uh, let's kind of time this and see how long it takes because it did it took us about 35 minutes so if we can actually make it there within in less than 10 minutes uh, not gonna lie it's, it's gonna be faster to not do the train so I'm, I'm kind of hoping that this is the case. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I want the case to be. <laughs> like, in a ways, I enjoy doing the trains because it's a little bit challenging and it's, uh, you feel like you get a lot done. Like, we got four done all at once, right? where this is going to feel like a lot of driving. So if I end up doing this where I don't really use a train anymore and I just use this setup to go back and forth, we may have some, uh, we may have to introduce some time lapses just to uh, help move things along, even though technically it, it is less time. I don't know if I can talk for that. I need, I, I, I would need somebody on the other end to have a conversation with. <laughs> yes. To hold that much uh, thought and, and, and talking ability is just not, uh, can't really say it's my strong suit, so. <laughs> but as long as I can think of things that I can talk about, then I can talk about them. But anyways, let's see how long. I'm going to take the shortcut as well. I don't think we're going to have a problem with this truck getting through there. Maybe the other Azoff because it is... I don't know, this is the low Azoff. Maybe we will have a problem. I, uh, yeah, I ended up going with this Azoff, which is... I mean, it is technically faster than uh, the 6 Series Azoff. Yes. I always, I always forget which one's which. I wish you could put numbers on your truck. Just a little detail, just so I know that, oh, this is the Azov 6, or this is the Azov 7. Anyways, I know, it's weird. I come up with weird thoughts all the time. But in some ways, it kind of makes sense, too, so... And technically, we won't have to stop for fuel. Although, I may just do it anyways because we do have to get this truck back. Um, well, more importantly, we gotta get the trailers back, so. Although, I suppose if I wanted to, I could return one of the trailers and then just. or uh, return one of the trucks and then use the other truck and trailer combo to haul the other trailer would be very 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 possible thing to do so uh but let's see here we are just cruising along how fast are we going yeah we're doing closer to 30 i mean now we're doing 40 down the hill we are we are almost double the rate sometimes most of the time we're at least a good 30 percent faster 
which is really honestly starting to show. Let's see how we do in the mud. That's probably where we're going to slow down a bit. Maybe we throw it in high gear and just blast through it. There's a there's a weird little rock there. I feel like that rock would have just been pushed into the mud. And nope, let's slow the wheels down a little bit. Yeah, attach our winch here. Come on. There we go. Avoid the rocks on the left hand side here. Sure if high gear is better. It is working. Go way to the left. Did not like that rock right there. Oh, it's always so tedious through getting through here. Tedious is the right word? No, no, it's probably not the right word. It's, um, I'm on edge. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> With the uh, the rocking and the rolling that the truck does, just, just waiting to to see it start to tip, and then you hear the straps break. Oh, that's a that's a that's a horrible sound to hear in this game. In fact, I may have nightmares from that sound. <laughs> if I ever hear it in the future, say twenty years from now, I hear that snapping of the. Uh, of the straps when a, a load tips over, that is going to instantly throw me back into this game. Alright, we're nice and filled up. Still on the go. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're not even six minutes into this return and we're almost here. I'd hate to say it, but the speed of this truck, uh, crap. Oh, this is, I'm pretty sure this is where I turned, came out. We're going to go, we're going to go to the, on this side of the telephone pole. Hopefully still be able to make it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the trail there I use. So, um, so, according to this, I think this takes half the time. To do the six loads, that would be a little daunting, but I think I don't want to count all my uh, eggs yet. You kind of dig in there. But yeah, that took less than uh, that took less than ten minutes to get there and get back. Um, well, that was sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars. That was totally worth. It. And here I thought I was going to give you guys a nice long episode, and yeah, it turns out that uh, using this one, the the seven series as off is. Uh, is actually a lot faster. In fact, I probably could have gotten this done in about 40 minutes. I had to, if I had to guess with the return trips and everything. Yeah, I, I think maybe 30 to 40 minutes versus our 38 minutes uh, train that we had to take, which 
Yeah, that kind of that kind of puts an end to using trains, doesn't it? Uh, but there's a lot of other things that are involved. Um, so you can't just say, okay, yeah, trains are dumb. <laughs> you can't say that yet. So, uh, but that is a, a clear case for not using them. All right, let's see. What do we got here? We got three long logs to deliver to the sawmill. We got to pick up either from there or there. Um, okay, so long logs will be three separate trips back and forth or a train and a whatchamacallit. I'm not really sure what path is better. This is this is a difficult choice here. <laughs> you know what? Let's go ahead and, and uh, let's see what else we have before I start activating things. So we've got medium logs. We're gonna have to take those. There's only three of them. So that's good. We'll we'll have to take them from here or the logging station. But there's no trailer store. There's the trailer store. So that will be. Meh. We'll have to figure that one out. Again, three medium logs. And three long logs to Zimogorsk. Alright, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's do these three long logs. And I think I know what I'm going to do. So, we will be back in the next episode on uh what is this this is friday's episode so it will be monday uh but i believe we will have a new truck so look forward to that and we will see you in that episode if you guys like this episode go ahead and please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed because that helps out the channel a lot and uh feel free to leave a comment let me know how i'm doing let me know how horrible i am all that fun stuff i'm i'm up for any critiques so uh we will see you in the next episode bye for now